Welcome to our video on Haskell programming. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to check if two values have been constructed using the same head constructor. This is a crucial task in functional programming, especially when working with custom data types. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To check if two values have the same head constructor in Haskell, we need a function that is efficient and adaptable to future changes in our data type. First, let's define our data type. We'll use a simple example with constructors A, B, and C. Instead of using pattern matching, which can be linear and break with new constructors, we can leverage Haskell's type system. We can use the data.typable module to achieve this. This function checks the types of both values. If they are the same, it returns true. This approach is constant time and will work even if we extend our data type. Finally, let's see how we can use this function with different constructors. It will seamlessly handle any new constructors added to our data type. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can check if two values have the same head constructor using ghc.generics. This method involves more boilerplate code compared to simpler solutions. Here's a quick example. You can define a data type like E with constructors A, B, and C. Then use the same cons function to compare two values. In the main function, you can test same cons with different constructors. It will return true if they match and false otherwise. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To check if two values have the same head constructor, we can define a simple solution without relying on external libraries. First, we create a data type for our constructors and a corresponding data type for their names. Next, we implement a function called eName that maps each value of type E to its corresponding eName. This allows us to easily compare the constructors. Finally, we define the same cons function, which checks if two values of type E have the same constructor by comparing their eName representations. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.